Ooh, see if it will break my acorn, please. Sure thing. Hi. Hey, what are you guys doing to my... Oops. Uh-oh. Sorry, guy. Squirrels. Squirrels in need. 2020. Please like. And the squirrel live. On the shirt. Sorry. Don't worry, Kai. I've got your back. On the table, Kai has been found! Lego Ninjago, set number 71707, Kai's Mech Jet, and most importantly, set number 71714, Kai Avatar Arcade Pod! Finally a chance to see Kai. But I'm standing right here! On the back of the boxes, there's the jet of the mech and the avatar of the Kai. Wait a second, if he's the avatar, what am I? We have seen the arcade pod so far, so let's go right to Kai's mech jet first. Inside the box, this must be the instructions for the mech, and the instructions for the jet, both a little curly. Bag one of pieces, bag two of pieces, plus some mech jet stickers. Lots of two-in-one building today, let's get right to it. Kai's mech jet constructed. And to let me tell you something, this is a really cool mech build. Possibly one of the best mech builds I've seen in a long time. Take it back! Take it back! Sorry, Thanos Squirrel Mech. You're pretty cool too. What I really like about this mech though is it doesn't just feel like a person or something. It feels like a machine with a person driving it. It has a really neat shape and function to it. And most of the build was pretty solid and enjoyable. So we have Kai up on top piloting the mech jet. Oh, looks like he has slipped it down just a little bit. That might be one of the weaknesses of this mech jet. Kai really seems to only attach up by his back legs on a couple studs here. It would have been nice to have a little more attachment to hold him in there. On the other hand, he's nice and quick to get out. The mech jet has pretty good articulation overall up in the shoulders, with ball joints and ball joints on the elbows too. He's holding on to a very vibrant green sword with his right arm and left arm. We've got a couple stud shooters. They always fire across the room and it looks like we have a couple refills. As for the hips, we have some nice working ball joints to move them about. My favorite part and look of this mech jet are the posts involved with his calves here. I just like the look, it's very machine. You don't really need to represent human meat on a mech. Posts are fine and can really give a mech some great mechanical look. There's not much articulation then in these knees because of the way these fit in, but we've got ball joints on these ankles. And I feel like there's plenty of movement to move this mech around and make it look just awesome. Also some great sticker work going on throughout. This arcade digiverse thing going on with Ninjago Season 12 is looking really cool graphic wise. Also on the back we have a flight pack here with some wings. I've noticed they've kind of been able to fall out a little easily at times. Right now it's gripping pretty strong but you can move them. So down position and 
up position. Also built, we have Richie! Who is this guy? Looks like some sort of flying warthog pig guy. I'm very behind on my Ninjago character, so not sure if this guy is new to the season or have been around. But it is a very awesome minifigure. They really stepped up the game of these characters this time. Also built is this mysterious question mark sword. Very curious what that is all about. I guess I'm just going to have to start watching season 12. If you want to talk about that sword, try out the Discord for comments now. I usually try to be on a few times a day, and especially after a new video goes live. Well, I knew this set would turn out awesome. It looked just so great on the box. I was more into a vehicle mech building mood than a dragon or temple build. And I like the two-in-one features of this set, and that means we need to get to the other feature, the jet of mech. So let's tear apart this mech, this beautiful mech, and see the jet. Wow, that was weird. I just built that mech, and here it is in pieces. Gots to see the jet, though. constructed we have the jet of the mech, the jet mech. Am I getting that right? A little bit smaller build the jet of mech is than the mech of jet jet mech is. You can see we've got a lot of extra pieces left over, probably about half the pieces of the mech, but we're still using some of the larger pieces so it still feels scaled large, but yeah look at all these extra pieces left over. You could probably build onto your jet of mech if you wanted to. As for the jet itself, it's pretty fun. It's got a good playable size to it. It's kind of flat. Kai's kind of exposed up top. But I like the build, it turned out pretty well. I was kind of hoping the mech part would just transform into this part and so there would be less total rebuild. But on the other hand, two and one is a lot of fun because it gives you a lot more to do. The jet of mech uses the little controller handlebar as his controls. You can move up this front part to get under here. I wonder what these white things are. These like white gold bars or something. Uh, we can rotate around underneath. Not too much going on here, but we can move our wings a little bit. Actually, not very much at all. I thought there was a little more movement in there. It kind of bumps up against this lower jet thruster, whatever that is. So I think out of the two builds, the mech is the superior build. There's a lot more to it. Oh, look at there. You could probably have a character sit on the side here. I could do that. So there's a little bit of room for extra riders on it, which is kind of a nice little unknown feature if they meant to do that or not. Oh, and some stud shooters up front too. But again, I think the better build is the mech. I'll probably keep it in mech form. It is nice though to have a two-in-one, and it's a very pointy ship. I think it turned out well. Well, we have a little more building to do today. It's a Kai kind of day. I really love the arcade pods. Glad to pick up Kai here. Check back a couple videos if you're interested in seeing the Jay and Lloyd builds. Inside the box, we have the main arcade pod structure with a back door. There's a bag of pieces. There's a bag of these. We're gonna have a ton of these left over today. Some stickers, and of course, some instructions to build. Let's get this arcade pod set up. And Kai's arcade pod built. Pretty much familiar from what we have seen before. Right now we have Digi Kai out, and I believe Digi Kai is the same Digi Kai with the mech jet. Let's see how fast I get these two confused. Under the helmet for the faces. Yep, looks to be the same minifigure. And of course, inside our arcade pod, that's where all the gear is, so we flip it around and we're gonna open up this door. And there we go, the wall of gear, plus Avatar Kai inside. Always a little easier just to pop the base off. And we can start building Avatar Kai. Different pants piece, different torso piece, and a very wild headpiece. 
There's our Avatar Kai. Some more gear for Digikai on the back. There's his status bar. Sword. And here's a piece I'm excited about. I don't see this flame piece as much anymore. It used to be very common late 90s, early 2000s, I would say. I used to see this all the time. And lately, I just don't see it anymore, and I really like this piece. So it's good to have this little fire piece. We'll give this to Avatar Kai. And some more trouble, some TNT. Wow, that is some really big hair. Again, real nice to get two figures. Oh wait, is there a back head piece to this? No, no back head piece but he's got a very cool cobra on his back. Wow, look at that. And of course, a lot of extra pieces for little knives and more swords and more banana things and flails and all the things that you will want in your battling a ninja. And I think I'll display like I did the other three. I like to leave avatars out and put the digi figures inside. And real quickly, bringing them back, there's Jay, and Lloyd, and now Kai. These were terrific fun, look how colorful they are together. Here's hoping we see some more of these soon. And now, I hate to do this to my fingers yet again, but I'd like to get back to the mech of the jet, so I'm going to go off screen and rebuild that to finish today's game. And there again is Kai's beautiful mech jet, or jet of mech. I prefer the mech. It's wildly fun. The mech jet arrives on store shelves January 2020, runs approximately $20, which is a very reasonable price for the two-in-one builds. And the arcade pods run approximately $10. Looking for more social ways to talk about this video? Check out Squirrel Stampede on Instagram or TikTok. Pop Jam, draw me a squirrel. And again, Discord link in the comments. That's what I have to say about that. <laughs> ah, reach. There we go.